Welcome back, legends. And look, I got my top off. I'm committing the cardinal sin, sin that I said in my last video. So I must avoid this. If you didn't watch the last video, yeah, I was like, if you're over 50, don't take your top off because normally I haven't got a good body. My body's not too bad because I am I keep pretty fit, but I still, I'll put it on for you guys. You don't want to see my chest. Five things you should do in retirement in Thailand. Number five. I think a really good activity a lot of people like doing in Thailand is golf. I mean, personally, I hate the bloody sport, but I've not really tried it that many times. So it's maybe something I need to try more. I haven't got that much time. I'm doing lots of other things at the moment. It's maybe something I might try when I get a little bit older and I'm fully retired here. Uh, but at the moment, I haven't really got time to do it. But it's an activity that's very, very popular in Thailand. I think it's a great activity to do. You know, you're with your friends every day. You're meeting up with some guys, having a bit of a laugh, you know, having a chat. You're getting some exercise too. So it's a great way to keep fit as you get healthy. You know, mentally and physically, I think, you know, to walk around the golf course, you're swinging the golf clubs, you know. And the main thing is social aspect of it. You know, you're meeting up with some guys and, you know, spending quite a few hours with them. So, you know, you're going to have some good chats and let off some steam a bit there. So and get you away from the wife, probably, which is a good thing sometimes. Don't, don't tell the wife that. Uh, but you know what I mean? Uh, I think it's good to have a bit of space as well. So that would be the first one, some kind of activity like golf, but it doesn't have to be that. I mean, God, people do all kinds of sports out here. I mean, I don't play golf, but I do like running and going to the gym and keeping fit, walking on the beach or, you know, lots of other activities I do here in Thailand. So, you know, some kind of activity, physical activity, uh, probably I'd recommend, you know, doing in retirement. Next one would be like traveling, you know, I mean, God, if you live near Bangkok, it's absolutely amazing for traveling around the world. I mean, Bangkok's just flights go everywhere and they're dirt cheap. I mean, you can go to Hong Kong, you know, two, three hours, Shenzhen, you know, China, you can go to, you know, Japan, Korea, South Korea, you know, all Vietnam, Cambodia, Laos. I mean, just literally around Bangkok, there's so many cheapo. I mean, they're not as cheap as they were, but they're still, it is remarkably cheap to be able to fly to all these little countries all the way around, like Asian countries, all the way around uh, Bangkok or, you know, Thailand. And, you know, it's a great, base for traveling that's why i would recommend like you know if you stay near bangkok because bangkok flights you know from Sawanapum, they go freaking everywhere so if you're 90 minutes from Sawanapum or a couple of hours from Sawanapum, i always kind of you know recommend like why ins are probably a bit further than that you know it's probably three and a half something like that i think to Sawanapum. but from Pattaya, it's about 90 minutes so you know both them places it is accessible a little bit further from why you know, i think that's why Pattaya is really popular because of the you know the airport is really close so it's easy if you want to travel you know and that's my next thing you know i mean traveling is a great thing to do especially if you've got wife we i mean even if you're going on your own it's uh, just a fantastic thing if you got the money but you do need the money for that i do admit that three i think another great thing to do is you know learn the language so you know have some kind of teacher go to some kind of classes i mean some people like private classes or group classes. This is a great way to meet, you know, straight away a Thai teacher. So, you know, you're meeting a Thai person and you're learning about the culture, the language, you know, it's especially important if you've never been to Thailand before and you're coming here to retire for the first time. I think it's a great idea. You know, it's really going to help you settle in the country quicker. Yeah, it does cost a little bit of money, but group classes are quite cheap and you can go, you know, in the cheaper you can like, you know, you're flexible because you're, you're retired. So you can go when, you know, the cheapest time for the teacher, you know, especially if it's private classes, you know, sometimes weekdays in the middle of the day when you're free, you know, they're kind of free too, you know, but they're probably busier at the weekend. A lot of Thai teachers are. So, you know, if you can have lessons in the weekday, daytime, it's it's good for them. So they sometimes give you a discounted rate if it's one-on-one, -on -one. even with group, group classes as well. You know, if you've got two or three of you together, makes it very cheap and quite social. You know, I know a few, I know a Thai teacher who, you know, has you know, two or three students who come together and they, they come and learn a bit, but it's a bit of fun as well, you know, it's not just learning, it's a bit of a laugh as well, you know, and once you get to know the teacher quite well, you know, Thai people are very, very friendly and very welcoming as well, so it's a, it's another great opportunity to meet people in, in Thailand. Number two, do some kind of mental game, so something like chess or playing pool or something where you really have to concentrate on something, it's pretty good activity as you get pretty older, 
uh, you know, whatever floats your boat, drafts, whatever, board games or whatever, something like this is a good good way to go, something to do as you get older. Chess is hugely popular out here. They have chess boards everywhere and Thai people really into playing chess too. And foreigners, I think, over here too. So that's a really good one and good for the brain too as you get a bit older, keep your brain uh, going, you know, as you get into your 60s, 70s, you know, it's kind of really, really super important as well. So that would be another one, some kind of mentally stimulating game you could try. Number one, I think the me the main kind of activity I would do if I was fully, you know, if I was retired in Thailand, uh, you know, I'd base myself somewhere and, you know, I got the truck and car, you know, and I would recommend getting a car if you're coming to Libya permanently, you know, it does give you a lot of flexibility to travel around the country. And that's what I would spend a lot of time doing, just exploring this amazing country, you know, going from north to south, I mean, God, you could spend a year or two doing this if you went to all the different provinces and some amazing places when you go right up north and, you know, travel around, do tours around. That'd be great, you know, really good fun, you know, traveling around the country with your own vehicle. I think really, really fantastic and very, very cheap to stay in like hotels and accommodation around Thailand. You can camp. There's campsites around Thailand. In the north, it gets cool. So, you know, don't worry about the heat. Uh, in certain times of year, it is better at certain times of year than others. So just look into that, you know, in, you know, December, January, February, it's, you know, remarkably cooler in the north of Thailand, you know, Chiang Mai area up around there and even further north, it gets quite cool. So it's quite nice. You could camp quite easily and there's a lot of mountains and stuff you can camp on and it's relatively cheap, you know, to do that. Uh, that's something you could do. Uh, uh, in retirement, I think it's a really good thing. I would probably do that myself a little bit if I was to retire. Oh, this gives you a few ideas about if you come out to Thailand and you want to think about something to do when you're coming out here because you know you don't want to just sit on the beach all the time. There's other lots of different things you want to be doing with yourself. All right, guys, hope that's helped you out. Take it easy until next time.